The black or white fallacy, also known as the false dichotomy, occurs when someone presents you with two options as the only possibilities when in fact there are more possibilities that exist. So the fallacy here lies in trying to force you into choosing one of these, the black or white, without giving you any option for the many shades of gray in between. So here's an example of the fallacy. Our country is in serious trouble. We don't have victories anymore. We used to have victories, but we don't have them. This is a black or white fallacy because Trump is implying that military victories are the only kind of victories that can put your country in good shape. But consider Costa Rica, a country that's had zero military engagement since 1949 because they haven't had a military since then. Or think of Switzerland, a country that's had an unwavering commitment to neutrality and so has never been involved in military conflicts. I mean, like 500 years ago, but seriously. So does this mean that these countries, because they've never had a military victory, are in bad shape or aren't winning? Obviously not, because if you look into one of these gray boxes, you'll find that victory could mean maintaining peace in a country without ever using military force. Now, I should note here that there are actually legit dichotomies, like Johnny is either dead or he is alive, or you will either subscribe to this channel or you won't. But when you're talking about more complex issues, 99% of the time you are exiting the realm of true dichotomies and entering the realm of false dichotomies. And as issues become exponentially more complex with each added variable, you can imagine how something like American politics has become the living, breathing, false dichotomy that it is. I mean, you're either left or you're right. You're either for open borders or closed borders. You're either pro-life or pro-choice, and so on and so forth. It's just left up to two extremes without any middle ground or any nuance. So take this as a challenge. When you come across extreme polarizing thoughts, and we all do, to put them to the test, to contend with them and see if you can't find a more moderate viewpoint. And hopefully by doing so, you're able to build a higher tolerance for ambiguity and even be able to appreciate that everything is just not always as black and white as it seems. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.